started to see that the models performed similar to mean baselines, that's uh, a point where you're like, hey, what's going on? Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. Well, I'm Aaron, I'm a PhD student at the Climera University of London, and I'm working on uh, developing AI algorithms for drug discovery. What model were you training in uh, for what task? We benchmarked actually a bunch of single cell foundation models for perturbation effect prediction. So essentially what we're trying to do there is trying to predict what the state of a cell will be after you expose it, for example, to a drug or another type of perturbation. And what was the very first anomaly that told you something was off? When we started to see that the models performed similar to mean baselines, where you just take your input data, calculate the average, and you get actually quite similar results as to with a fully trained model, that's a point where you're like, hey, what's going on? And did you use any observability tool to uh, surface the bug? For our benchmarking project, the most important thing is obviously your evaluation metrics. So we had uh, a bunch of pretty custom evaluation metrics in order to diagnose the models. Another important thing is to actually look at your output predictions, and that also tells you quite a lot about what's going on with the model. And roughly how much compute or wall clock time did the failure burn before you caught it? It's not so much, because we just trained quite contained classifiers on top of pre-trained models. The pre-trained models themselves, actually quite a bit. I don't have the numbers at the top of my head. They definitely burned up a lot of uh, GPU hours to okay. train those models. Okay. And what ended up being the key fix? We think in this particular case, the problem is still quite data constraints, so mm -hmm. we're going to need a lot more data to, to be able to, to push further in this field. And other than that, it's a, it's a very early stage problem uh, that that's actually is moving quite fast at the moment. And is there one particular metric that you're now watching or keeping an eye on like a hawk? I mean the mean baseline, obviously. Mm -hmm. This is something that people hadn't looked at before. And right now people are starting to realize actually that's already a quite difficult to beat, even though very naive baseline. Um, and so I'm really looking at whether models are able to meaningfully beat simple uh, baseline in this context.